feel so damn jaded, jaded. I don't feel so damn jaded. very twisty chair. Hey guys, it's Wenji and Mia Hugs! <coughs> so today we are doing DIYs and life hacks with straws. These are so super fun. And right now I'm running a MacBook Air giveaway, so if you guys want to enter, all you need to do is join this wonderful family here and also subscribe to my second channel, Reacticorns, which is linked down below. And this week we have another like challenge, right Mia? We can give them three seconds to find the like button and click it. Mia's gonna count. Three. Two, one. Have you done it? Awesome. Now let's get straight to the video. Let's go. I don't do this much. I'm pretty new. You can make your own cute coaster with just a few straws, some baking paper, and an iron. Just pick a few colors you like. Obviously, I had to pick pink, blue, and purple. Cut small pieces of these into a glass until it's about one third full. Give this a good mix. When you're ready, lay out a piece of baking paper on a flat surface and fold it in half. Pour out your straw pieces onto one side of the baking paper and roughly arrange it into a circle. Next, fold the other half of the baking paper on top so it doesn't stick to anything when you melt it with your iron. Turn your iron onto the maximum setting and press firmly onto your straws. After a few seconds, they should all be stuck together. Wait for it to cool and just peel it off your baking paper. Now just trace around anything round and cut out your cute coaster and you're done. You can make any color you want or any shape, so just have fun and experiment. These look bright and colorful and help protect your table from bumps and scratches. I love limes with pretty much everything and I'm not exaggerating. So when I have leftovers, I want to make sure I store them properly so they're still good the next time I use them. Putting them in a Ziploc bag is great but there's still air trapped inside the bag which over time can make your food go off. So instead, take a straw and pop it into your Ziploc bag and seal the rest of it so only the straw fits through the opening. Then just suck out as much air as you can and it should create a vacuum seal around your food. The tricky part is taking the straw out and sealing the remaining gap in the bag, but you should be fine as long as you're quick. So now you can DIY vacuum seal your own freezer bags with just a straw and keep your food fresher for longer. On our own. Necklaces love to get tangled up no matter how carefully I store them. Like, even if I don't move them around that much, they still find a way to get caught around each other. But you can prevent all this frustration with a simple straw or several straws if you're carrying around a few necklaces at a time. Just pop your necklace straight through the straw and then connect the ends together and you're done. The straw keeps the necklace straight and free from tangles and you can cut your straw shorter to work with bracelets or chokers. So apparently you can make a square bubble by using straws and some pipe cleaners. I was a bit skeptical about this because I've never seen a square bubble but I thought I'd give it a shot. Just take 6 straws and 6 pipe cleaners and cut them in half so you have 12 of each. The straw should be slightly shorter than the pipe cleaners. Next fold 3 pipe cleaners into this chicken foot looking thing by bending the ends together. And repeat this so you have 4 chicken feet. Now slide a straw onto each pipe cleaner. Next, connect the pipe cleaners to each other by folding the ends together and you should end up with this straw cube. Now to make your bubble solution. Add a quarter cup of dishwashing liquid to 5 liters of water and 2 tablespoons of glycerin. Now just dip your straw cube into the solution and when you lift it out, you should have a square bubble. Hmm, okay, maybe it's not that easy. Honestly guys, this took me a few goes but eventually I managed to make a square bubble and it was pretty cool. A tip is to do it really quickly and that's how I got it. I've never seen a square bubble before and definitely didn't know I could make my own with straws. You can make 
simple wristbands by using a straw and a pencil sharpener. Just sharpen your straw and you'll create this spiral shape all the way down. This was so satisfying to do, I wanted to keep making more. When you're done, you'll have something like this. Next, all you need is twist the ends of your straw together and it'll hold into place. And that's it! You can use a few different colors on one wrist and obviously I made myself a unicorn colored set as well which looks super cool. Or you can even turn it into a game. Mia also thought it was super cute too. Right Mia? You can make small travel size pouches with a straw, some pliers and a lighter. These are great if you're traveling light and maybe only spending one or two nights away from home. You can put things like moisturizer, toothpaste, shampoo and conditioner in these, so here's how you make them. Just cut a straw down to the size of the pouch you roughly want. Take your pliers and squeeze down on one end of the straw leaving a few millimeters of straw poking out. Use a lighter to melt this end of the straw and it'll stick together once cooled down. Now take something like moisturizer and pump it in until you're happy and then repeat the same step on the other end of the pouch to completely seal it. You just need to bring along a small pair of scissors with you to open it when you're ready to use it. And then you can just throw it away afterwards. It's super annoying when I leave my drink outside and come back to find that it's been overtaken by bugs and flies. Shoot, go away! My drink! If you don't have a cup with a lid, you can make your own using a straw and a muffin liner. Just press your muffin liner right onto your cup opening and even if the base is too small, you can make it larger by slowly flattening it onto your cup. You should feel a satisfying pop when it goes into place. Next, just make a small hole for your straw right in the middle and pop your straw in and you're done. The muffin liner feels pretty secure but you can always use a rubber band to make sure it doesn't get blown away on windy days. And now those pesky bugs won't be sharing your drink anymore. I love fresh flowers around the house. They smell great and can also help brighten up an office or study area. But if your flowers are getting a little old or you somehow damage the stem, you might not be able to stand them upright and they can start to look a little sad. So next time, try popping your stem through a straw to help give it some extra support. Use a regular straw for a thin stem and something like a bobber straw for thicker stems. The straw is hidden in the vase but still allows nutrients to get to the flowers and you'll be able to enjoy your flowers for a little longer. I used to love doing this as a kid. You can actually turn a straw into a little whistle just by cutting it shorter and then making two diagonal cuts on one end of the straw so it forms a V. Then just purse your lips and push the air through the straw like a whistle. Careful though, it can be sharp and painful. You can also make the straw shorter and the sound it makes will change to a higher pitch. It's so easy to make and will most likely drive your siblings or your parents a bit crazy. You can make a super cute hair tie by using some straws, a tea light and an elastic band. Just hold the end of the straw over a tea light and wait for it to start melting. If you do it right, it should slowly roll upwards and form a circular band. Dip it in some water to stop the melting process and then use some nail scissors to cut away the excess straw. You should have something like this. Now you need to make a lot of these, so just take your time and put some music on while you DIY. Kind of like DIY meditation, guys. When you're finished, just thread all these onto an elastic band and then tie it up and cut off the loose string. This 
hair tie looks super cute and is so colorful, it'll definitely add a pop to your hair. But I don't think Mia liked it very much. But it totally added a pop of color to her raccoon tail. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed all the DIYs and life hacks in this video. Let me know which one your favorite is down below. And let's have a look at what happened on Reacticons this week. Life of Pi, Tiger. It was a very touching moment. It was, but not for him, of course, because he just caressed a soft toy the whole time. Not even got like the rest of the body. I don't even know what it is. And a huge shout out to my notification squad member of the week and my WenjiCon of the week. If you guys want to find out how to get a shout out, don't forget to check the description box down below. There are instructions right there. And during the week, if you guys want to check out what I do, follow me on social medias, especially Snapchat. I want to see you guys there. I'm going to wish you guys so much, but don't worry guys, I'll be back with another video next week.